Hello lovies, I hope you are having the best day. This video is going to be a bit juicy, I'm going to be spilling the tea the tea on my second year uni house because I'm not gonna lie it was a bit dreadful but you know we're here to tell the tale it's not like a it's not like a story time but it's sort of it's like story time and then I'm gonna just give you a bit of advice I hope you enjoy this video and give it a massive thumbs up if you do so I'll set the scene for you so it was early November 2019 couple months into uni bit stressed bit cold I was just planning along as you do in uni and then I started hearing some noises now, I thought I was going a bit mad because I, I was the only one that could hear the noises in the house. But they were a bit scary, I'm not going to lie. I'd just be chilling in bed and then I'd just hear like, loads of growling going on upstairs. And I'd be like, what is going on there? So, yeah, it was a bit weird. I carried on just telling people and then I was like, oh, okay, Amy, you didn't growl and that's fine. There was times where I thought, I'm going to walk into my room and there's just going to be a fox chilling on my bed because, like, it just, it sounded like there was, like, an animal actually in the room. Anyway, I was convinced there was something underneath the floorboards. So I rang the letting agency and I was like, listen, can you come over, have a cheeky little look? And they did, and no surprise, there was rat and mouse droppings, like, underneath the floorboards. Grim Anna. They let an agency set up some mouse traps, but they literally did nothing. These rats knew what they were doing. Literally managed to get like the little treat that was on the mouse trap without even setting it off. Like it was just like they, they knew. They, they must have thought we were mugs. Literally cheated the system. I feel like they were experienced. Experienced with the mouse traps, I'd say. They knew how to get around them. They were clever. Because the mouse traps weren't working, we ended up having to buy a load more mouse traps. It was literally in every corner of the room. Like you literally had to dodge the mouse traps because we were probably more likely to get trapped in it than the mouse. We even got one of those noise emitter plug things that like send off the frequency. So I thought these tunes are gonna scare these rats away, but they didn't. They were just loving it. Probably a bit of radio for them. You know what I mean? So we weren't faced by the plug-in noise emitter. Literally getting to the point as well where they were like stealing our food. Like after we came back from Christmas, we had all these like nice little christmas chocolates that we got as gifts he just they just decided to have a nibble on them my chocolates were literally stored in my room in a drawer in a box and they still managed to get in and eat them so yeah they were they were pretty sneaky like the thing is our house wasn't messy as well like we're students so obviously it wasn't the cleanest but nowhere near as messy as like it would be to have rats you know what i mean honest to god that they were literally taking over the whole house i'd surrendered to them at this point i was like you can have me room you can have me chocolates have me bed, it's, it's all yours. Honestly, we, I was paying rent for the rats rather than me living there. As soon as they put the foot down and they said they weren't gonna go, I just thought, well, I'll, I'm probably gonna have to go then, aren't I? They waved me off as I put my suitcase down the path and walked away. Something that we didn't notice when we first moved in was that there was like loads of little holes around the house and obviously like that's not something that you look at when you, you're viewing a house like if you see a little hole you're not gonna be like oh that's where the rats are gonna get in you just don't think that after four months of rooming with the mice let an agency finally put some poison down and touch wood touch wood is that that a thing touch wood touch wood that we haven't had any mice since obviously we complained about this a lot because like it was to get to the point where someone was weren't living in the house because of it or we were avoiding the house a lot because of the situation the agency's excuse was that it was because we were living in a terraced house so we should expect mice but when you're paying like six grand for a house expect a bit more to be done about it it's like then literally a guy coming out every few weeks to check the mouse traps like we could do that ourselves so that was the annoying thing about it but it's got to sort of expect it when you're dealing with letting agencies or a specific letting agency that i'm not gonna name do we get a lawsuit yeah living with a family of mice for four months is, isn't great it's an ideal but you know house is always full now not only did we have the mice situation you know it's a student house there's more to come we also had a lot of flooding the house of the basement room and i thought this is brilliant turns out it wasn't yeah living in the basement isn't as fun as you think i had a, a door in my basement and outside the door was like a drain pipe and that basically got blocked one day but we didn't think anything of it we thought you know it'll clear up in no time it'll be fine and then it started foaming and we thought a bit weird but you know it'll clear out eventually and then a couple hours later my room was filled with drain water yeah it wasn't ideal and it stunk as well like the basement always smelt damp anyway but when with drain water was actually soaking into the carpet it didn't smell the nicest 
again I reported it and I was like listen basement's flooded can you do something about it and they sent a cleaner over to clean the carpet which I mean I suppose it's great but they still charge me for it and they should have probably sent someone out to fix the problem rather than just cleaning the carpet but hey I'm not a letting agency just yesterday when I moved my stuff out my room had turned into the local swimming baths I tell you this time the room hadn't flooded because of the drains it flooded just because it had rained at least it was a little swimming pool for the mice if they were still there it wasn't just my room that flooded as well my flatmate sam lived on the third floor his ceiling just started leaking again from the weather and it literally got to the point where he had to move his bed because the water was just dripping onto his bed like every time it rained it was just like okay let's let's evacuate the house it does worry me though because obviously the next tenants that move in they'll have that same problem to deal with and it's it makes me wonder if the people before us also had this problem when i was packing my stuff away i felt like leaving a little post-it note just saying sorry or just warning them what they've got to come like it's bad so here are my top tips for anyone who is looking at moving into uni house first of all i would say make sure you look at plenty and plenty and plenty of houses because this was our first house that we've seen didn't take us to any more houses and we were just like yeah this is sound we'll go for it so just make sure that you look at a lot of houses and these are agencies they will pressure you to choose quickly it was made out to us that like if we didn't have a house by december like that's it you wouldn't find a house and it's not like that like there's literally houses online now that you can have a look at that are probably more decent than some of the others so make sure that you just take your time to pick even if they are pressuring you because there's nothing worse than spending your money on a house that you know isn't great the more time you spend looking at houses the more time you will know what is worth your money and which isn't and you are viewing your houses it is so awkward because you literally you walk around houses and people are just in the bedroom like oh yeah you're right and it's just like you sort of just like look and you're like yeah yeah that's fine but like you don't stop to ask questions and you need to because going into a contract and you're spending this much money so if you've got any questions just make sure that you ask them because it's better to ask rather than to pay the price for it later this is boring but make sure you read your contract or get your parents to read it or someone because there are so many like loopholes in the contract and they do they can catch you out so just make sure that you thoroughly read it and you know what you're signing yourself up for also a good thing i wish i would have done was <laughs> No shade to the letting company that I chose, but make sure that you look into your letting agency, read reviews, um, because I think that would have been really helpful for us because we just went with the first letting agency that we found and looking into reviews now. If we'd have known, I think we would never have gone for them. So it is just worth doing a bit of research before you actually go and view these houses with these letting agencies. And also take photos of everything, especially when you're viewing houses, take photos. Again, just look properly and if see any bits that you've missed. Also, when you do move into your new houses, make sure that you take pictures of everything because when it comes to the end of the tenancy they can maybe blame you for stuff that you, that was already there when you moved in also report everything as well because there were times where we just didn't report stuff because we knew uh it'll just take ages but it's worth reporting because if you don't report it it'll just become more and more of a problem so even if it's a tiny thing just report it and hopefully if you've got a good letting agency they'll sort something out for you all in all it's not the end of the world like we we just got on with it it might this might just seem like a 10 minute video of me complaining and it essentially is i just wanted to make this video because i want to make you aware of things that you don't really think about when moving into like a new uni house just uh, be aware of problems that could arise and hopefully you're a bit more prepared if they do hopefully you enjoyed this video if you want me to make more uni videos let me know i can i can arrange that for you but yeah i just hope you are having the loveliest day again i just i just like making videos and i know i haven't really got like a specific like genre of, of type of video that i'm doing at the moment but i'm just having a bit of fun with it just let me know what you think I'll speak to you in the next video and goodbye oh pins and needles oh jesus christ